Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel. You're not gonna want to miss this one. This is a really, really cool video. I'm here in the Woodlands, Texas, and I am at Viking Highline. It's a very small, uh, I guess, car consignment dealership uh, in the Woodlands area. I've never been here before, but Chase says it's a really cool place. There's gonna be a few cars, but of those few, all of them are very nice, very awesome, rare, exclusive cars. So I'm just gonna take a quick look, but here is the building. First of all, it's a very understated building. You wouldn't know that they're hiding, let's say maybe $20 million worth of cars. And right outside, these two cars, the 458 Speciale and the gray and silver 458. These were both at Market Street, which we just came from. Um, but this is pretty much not very much compared to what's inside. So Chase, you ready to go inside? Absolutely. All right, let's take a look inside. We're here, and I don't really know what to say because I didn't think very much of it when we rolled in. It just looks like a regular building from the outside, but immediately inside, I mean, there's just, we have a G63 squared, we got a Ford GT, we have an F50 that I can't show you because it's been, it's been sold, but we have a Sabre, a 328. I'll go through some of the cars quickly. I gotta make this a short video because uh, I just don't want to be, you know, that guy recording and yelling in a building. It's a very quiet day today, so I'm just going to get a few shots of the cars, but it's a cool place, so let's get right into it. Starting off, we have a very simple silver uh, 350Z. Really nice. It looks in great condition. There must be a reason that this thing is here. Very nice manual. Perhaps it's low mileage, who knows, but it is in absolutely mint condition. It's, wow, it's great. We got a 308 GTS here. Oh, beautiful car. Tires look brand new. Wow, I wonder where they're from, I would check, but haven't really got the time. Black interior, gated five speed. Just a simply beautiful car. You know, these things, they're just so quintessentially Ferrari. But real quickly, there are quite a few cars here. Very, very nice. And then here we have, we don't know what this is. Obviously it's a BMW E36, but it says Iding Power. Or sorry, Ding Power, right? Iding Power? Yeah, Iding Power. I don't know what, it, we don't know what it is. So sticker inside. the thing is, yeah, so here's the weirdest thing. It's an E36 with interesting mirrors and a wide body kit, but if you look inside, McLaren F1, why does this BMW E36 say McLaren F1? It, it doesn't make sense. Ding power. If you guys know what this is, please let me know because I really have no idea what it is, but it is so cool. I don't know what it is. I'm so confused. It has a race seat for the driver's seat, manual, but it says in McLaren F1. We can't really see the engine right now. Who knows what's under that hood? This is the best look we'll get at it. And then we have a, sorry, a 308, not a 328, like I said earlier. GTS as well, I believe. Again, five speed manual. Desert Tan G550. I don't know, but it looks to be like not a regular 550 at all. Super cool black interior, real nice. 997.1 Carrera S. Beige interior, almost like ours, except for the beige interior and the wheels are not the lobster forks. This also actually does not look like basalt black metallic. It is a bit dirty though, but it is not basalt black metallic. But very, very nice. A Cadillac, I forgot what this is called. This is the XLR, yes. This is the XLR. They didn't make many of these at all. It didn't sell. Why didn't it sell? It's such a niche market it's though. A like Cadillac convertible based on... Corvette. It was based on the Corvette, right? It's built off of Corvette. It's basically a Corvette, yeah. So it's a, it's a Corvette with Cadillac body and I interior. It could be it just looks better as a Corvette. I don't know. It, but like, you know what? now that it's rare, I think this looks better. <laughs> yeah, I, I've always kind of liked it. It's definitely unique. Definitely much different design than anything else you see on the road. The quad exhaust. But yeah, that's a cool car. It's huge. It's actually really big. And then we got a beautiful green 901.2 GT3. I don't know the name of this color, 
It's very green. It's not python green. It's not mamba green. It looks like, I don't know, like kermit green or something. It could be kermit green. It is just spectacular. Six speed manual. I don't think you guys understand how much I love GT3s. I mean, this is just, I, I don't, I don't think there's a car that I would rather have than a GT3, especially for the money, you know what I'm saying? Like, like this is just, this is top. This is the top, top, top right here. We got a Challenger there, an SRT, and a Mustang back here. And Chase fits underneath the G-Class squared. Um, <laughs> we, we gotta do the, uh, the right height test right there. It's GT350. Dude, did you see how in great shape this car is? It's nice. Guys, I can't find a scratch on this paint. I cannot find a tear in the interior. I can find a moth. A moth. There is unfortunately a moth. <laughs> Looking past the moth, God, this interior is just immaculate. Oh my gosh. Is it registered or anything? It has a plate, classic auto plate. A G63 squared. I don't think I can describe how tall this is. Here's my eye level, and then there is the top of the car. That's as far as my hand goes. I'm 5'10", by the way. To the to the top of the window line. My eyesight is at the airbag. Like, my eye line is at the airbag. This, this is how, how huge it is. I, it's enormous. That, actually, that just adds to the, to the coolness of it. This is cool. <laughs> the only word I can think of is cool. And I love, like, the satin white paint. Huge wheels. Red interior as well. We got the lights up top there. I love the G-Class turn signals on the front fender there. Blue Urus. I'm not sure what the color is. Do you know what the name of the color is? Blue. Blue. Okay, let's just say it's blue. Blue Urus. Real nice. Looks like... Is that brown interior? Looks like brown interior. Super cool spec. Super, super nice. We got a, an SLK there. And then we got 3.2 here. Dark red. Looks like Carmine red. I got a 991.1 Carrera S. It has a nice little ducktail. I love it. I really like how the ducktail looks on the 991 profile. Next to this CL600. You do not see this every day. This is an absolute gem. V12 coupe, pre S class coupe. I don't even. This was like, I believe, the top of the line Mercedes at the time. This was just, just the best. I mean, it's so cool. Automatic, obviously. It's enormous. It, it's, it's enormous. I don't know how else to say it other than it's enormous. And next to the F50 that I can't show you, a Ford GT white with blue. This is the spec. This is the colorway to have it in. It was sold at Mecham, I believe. Mecham Houston, maybe? I don't know. There's no year on it, but it is a 2005 Ford GT, six speed, 5.4 liter V8. I remember my first time seeing a Ford GT. I was maybe nine years old and the owner actually let me sit in the GT. I will see if I have a picture, but obviously you can imagine like an, in a nine-year-old's mind sitting in a Ford GT. It was out of this world. I still remember it. It was dark blue with white stripes and the guy was such a blessing to let me sit in it. But amongst all of these cars and the F50, we have a one of 15 in the world McLaren Sabre. I don't know how to put how this car looks into words. I will say this, Chase and I agreed upon this. It's not a necessarily pretty car, but it is absolutely polarizing to look at. It is striking. The two different color seats, the driver's seat in orange and the passenger seat in black. I love that touch, but the entire car is made of carbon fiber. There is no bit of this that is not carbon fiber. It is enormous. It is wide, it's low, it's long. I love the little, the open, honeycomb looking feature there. The diffuser is the size of my car <laughs> and the exhaust is the size of its headlight. And the lights. Oh my gosh, yeah, the tail lights integrated into the spoiler. I almost, I, didn't, I almost didn't notice that. You don't notice it, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's good design right there. I think there's two in Texas. I think there's three, one of them is, is not known. Oh my God, so there might, there might be three in Texas. They're but, for US market. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, okay, so 15, well, 
nationwide, I guess. There's only for America. Well, it's there, there's only... some that have been imported out, but like they're only oh, sent okay, to okay. So yes, yeah, only 15 worldwide, and this is one of them. It's just a crazy car. I saw this one at, uh, at Cars and Coffee Houston, at uh, whenever they had it at Avenida America. Unfortunately, I didn't have my YouTube channel back then, so I couldn't really, you know, I couldn't get a video of it. Yeah, elbow from center body, and it's got the speed tail, like, back duck thing. Yes, yeah, exactly what he, Everything. Yeah, what Chase just said basically, yeah. It's basically like an Elva front, a center body, and like a speed tail-ish rear type. It's a crazy combination of a bunch of McLaren models, which is just like every other McLaren model in my opinion. They do seem to mix and match some parts, and there's a lot of part sharing amongst models, but this is basically, when you first look at it, it's a Senna with an Elva front and a speed tail-ish rear. That's what it is. But there's only 15. Orange paddle shifters, orange driver's seat, orange accents everywhere. Really cool spec, I really like it. Apart from that, everything else we've pretty much already seen. So, um, this is just a short video, you know, just to just to see what there is here at Viking Highline. Um, if you are the owner of Viking Highline, thank you for having me. Um, if you are in the Woodlands area, come check it out, definitely. It's a really cool place. Um, they're not paying me to, to sponsor them or publicize them in any way, but I just came with Chase uh, just to see what there is. So. Uh, yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like. If you didn't, dislike. If you liked it, subscribe. If you did like it, then don't subscribe, right? But, guys, thank you so much for watching. I want to thank you all again. Thank you so much. Take care.